and we now have with us the chairman of Miami-Dade County and commissioner of District 1, uh, and Fashion is Miami is the title for this, so welcome to the stage, Oliver G. Gilbert III. Thank you so much for being here. Wow. First of all, I didn't know that I, I, I never had a fangirl. <laughs> so that's just so cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that's so cool. And uh, I'm not going to get my like swimsuit body ready. Not, <laughs> no, I'm not going to spare you all. When they told me I was giving remarks here, they said keynote. When they said, well, just talk for a little about, about how you see Miami-Dade County. And, and so I think it's interesting. First, let me say it's interesting for me as a county commissioner and someone who was born and raised in Miami, who I wear suits basically every day. Um, to not be the most conservatively dressed person in a room. So I love looking out and seeing all the colors. And so as I was walking in and I was going to the different booths and I was ex just observing people. And when they said, well, just talk about how you see Miami. This is how I see Miami. This is how I see Miami-Dade County. I don't think that we're meant to be one thing. And I think the future the future of the planet, the future of major metropolitan areas aren't meant to be just one thing. They're, they're meant to be intentionally diverse, like this room. They're meant to actually embrace colors and uniqueness and the individuality that, that Miami just kind of captures. You know, a lot of times I go to uh, schools, I talk to all the schools in my district, and, and I talk to students about socks. I used to wear socks a lot, and I would never wear matching socks. And so they would, they would ask me, why don't your socks match? And, and so parents would get mad at me. I get these little angry emails from parents. My kid won't wear socks, matching socks because of you now. What type of leader are you? And, and so it, it was always interesting to me because I would always ask the, the students and then occasionally some of the parents, why do socks have to match? What's the purpose of socks? And some, some, I get these interesting answers like, well, you know, they have to keep your feet warm. Okay, well, we live in Miami. That's not really an issue. <laughs> well, they, they have to they make sure your, your shoes don't stink. I was like, well, that's valid. I played football when I was in high school. You want to wear socks, put a little powder in there, some baking soda. You don't want your shoes to be stink. But, but then I asked the question, why do they have to look the same? And you could never get an answer. It was always just this quiet. Why do socks have to look the same? Why do they have to match? Then I would ask the question, why does, does red go with blue? And, and people would smile and say yes, just like that. And, and, and then I'd say, well, does yellow go with green? And they'd say yes, just like that. And I'd say, well, does purple go with blue? And they'd be like, well, maybe, depends on the shade. Or does green go with a, a, a different color tur turquoise? Well, that would look kind of odd. My, my point was that we've been judging ourselves by these rules that, that we give power to. They're social constructs. They are social constructs. They only have the power that we give them. And, and it's playful with regard to socks. Socks matching, they really don't have to match. But that's a social construct that we give power to, that expectation. So if someone wears a non-matching sock, then it's, it's strange, it's abnormal. But truth, it, it, it's just socks. They, they don't have to match. We, we give power to colors matching. And so when I walk into you know, a county commission meeting and I want a, a, a bright green suit, and I have on you know, these, these, I wore my Adidas today. Now they're Gucci Adidas shoes. They, they tell me that a county commissioner doesn't dress that way. And I tell them that I'm the chair of the county commission. It's, it's, the idea is that we can give power to different things. We can take power away from different things. And, and in the context of fashion and what we are to become in Miami-Dade County, we're answering some very important questions. We're answering the question, how will the next great city of the world look? How will it sound? How will it feel? Will it be what the old great cities were or will it be something different? I have the opportunity to travel around the world promoting Miami-Dade County, and I'm telling you we're something different. You being in this room, MANA, Fashion Innovation, them 
having this initiative, we are something different. That, it's, it's about an attitude, it's about an atmosphere, it's about imagination, it's about innovation, it's about embracing the idea that we can be individuals and still live collectively as a community. And that that type of diversity actually makes us special. It, it, it actually, it's what draw, what's drawing people here right now. So when we talk about the tech industry and the fact that our people are coming, it's, it's not about that industry, it's about us. The magic in this place is the people. The magic in this place is the people, this place where over 50% of the people who live in Miami-Dade County were not born in America. But they came here in pursuit of the greatness of the American dream. A dream that allows itself to be redefined by the dreamer every day. And so every day as you all embrace your, your, your individual goals, I always encourage you embracing your individual goals because I understand that the aggregate effect of you embracing your individual goals change the world. So, so whether it's taking in invasive species, you know, those things we don't really like and finding ways to actually make use of them solving the problem and creating a good. Whether it's taking plastic and recycling it so that you can make wonderful purses that, 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 that cost a little bit, but I still might get one for my wife. Whatever it is, we need you to do it. We need you to do it. Not, not want, we need. Because it's that type of innovation, it's that type of imagination that, that won't just continue to transform Miami-Dade County. It'll continue to create the world that our children and our grandchildren will live in. It'll be a world that's resilient. It'll be a world that's reflective of, of an extraordinary diversity. It'll be a world that is more inclusive, but it only becomes that world if we make it. I'm asking you all to continue to do what you do, continue to join me in our efforts to make it that way. Thank you all very much.